learning objectives after studying this learning module students will be able to define the meaning of e business elaborate the process of purchasing and selling as a fragment of e business differentiate between e business and traditional business state the benefits and limitations of e business explain organization's requirement for switching over to electronic mode of doing business recognize the major risk factors involved in doing business through electronic mode elaborate the need and benefits of business process outsourcing recognize the scope and limitations of outsourcing introduction during the last decade the way business is done has undergone tremendous changes the manner of doing business is called mode of business the word emerging here highlights the fact that these changes are taking place here and now and also that these changes are likely to continue to occur three strongest trends shaping the business one digitization the conversion of text images sounds video and other content in the series of zeros and ones to transmit them electronically two outsourcing three internationalization and globalization e business conduct of trade industry and commerce using the computer network is called e business the most familiar computer network is the internet however the internet is a public exhaustive way organizations use more private and secure networks for more efficient management of business functions e business versus e commerce several times term e business and e commerce are used interchangeably but as business is a wider term than commerce e business is also a more elaborate term and involves several business functions and transactions conducted electronically comprising the most popular range of transactions called e-commerce e-commerce encompasses an organization's interactions with its customers and suppliers over the internet on the other hand e-business includes all the business functions conducted electronically like inventory management production accounting and finance product development and human resource management scope of e business scope of e business is quite vast and includes all kinds of business functions like production marketing finance marketing and personal administration and also the managerial activities and another way of looking at e business is to see it from the perspective of people and third parties involved and from this perspective an organization's e transactions can be classified into three categories b2b b2c and intra b or an organization's internal processes b2b commerce in this both the parties involved in a business transaction are business organizations and hence b2b stands for business to business commerce generation of utilities and value needs business to interact with other business firms which may be vendors suppliers of different inputs or they may be a part of the channel using which an organization distributes its products to the customers b2c commerce as the name implies b2c transactions have business organizations at one end and customers at the other b2c stands for business to customers commerce intra b commerce here all the parties involved in a business transaction are from within the same business and hence it is named as intra b commerce c to c commerce in this kind of commerce business is originated from consumers and its final destination is also customers hence it is named as c to c commerce this kind of commerce is appropriate for dealing in goods for which there is not recognized market mechanism for instance 
selling second hand clothes, books, commodities, etc. E business versus traditional business. Tailored products have traditionally been manufactured to order by craftsmen and hence they have been expensive with longer delivery times. Now, with the advent of e commerce, organizations can offer customized goods at lower costs and delivery time has also reduced significantly. Benefits of e business Ease of manufacturing and lower investment needs. Unlike the several procedural necessities for establishing an industry, e business is comparatively easy to begin. It benefits both the small and large enterprises alike. Convenience Internet provides the convenience of doing business 24 into 7 into 365. This flexibility allows people to do shopping even in the midnight and also let organizational personnel to do business at any point of time in a day. Speed E-business has significantly improved the cycle time, that is, the time taken to complete a cycle from the source of demand to its fulfillment. Everybody knows that in this digital era, money is described as electronic pulses at the velocity of light. This is all because of electronic funds transfer technology of e-commerce. Global reach. Internet has no boundaries. On the one side, it allows the seller to have reach to global market. On the other side, it allows a buyer to choose products from every part of the world. Without internet globalization would have been limited in terms of speed and scope. Movement towards a paperless society. Utilization of internet has significantly diminished the dependence of paperwork and the associated red tape. Limitations of e-business Similar to everything else, e-business has also some limitations. Less personal touch, no matter how high-tech it may be, but it lacks the warmth of interpersonal touch and interactions. In this way, it is comparatively less appropriate mode of business for product categories requiring a significant amount of personal touch like garments, etc. Incongruence between the placement of order and its fulfillment speed. However, information flows at a click of mouse. The actual delivery of the products or order takes time. This may cause impatience in customers. Need for technology competence. E-business requires significantly high degree of familiarity of computer technology. Involvement of high risk factor. E-business takes place between cyber personalities. It makes it difficult to establish the identity of the parties. It is therefore riskier to transact through internet. People resistance. The procedure of adjustment to innovative technologies and newer ways of doing business may sprout a sense of insecurity among people. Ethical fallouts. So you are planning to switch this job? You may as well leave it right now, said HR manager displaying her a copy of an email she had written to her friend. Swati was both stunned and shocked since how her boss got through her email account. Today, organizations keep an electronic eye to keep a track of files, documents, email you use on your system. Is it at all ethical? Online Transactions Stages involved in online transactions. Chiefly, there are three stages involved in online transactions. Firstly, the pre-purchase stage, comprising advertising and information gathering. Secondly, purchase or sales stage, involving price negotiation, closing of sales or purchase and payment. Thirdly, the delivery stage. Except the delivery stage, all the other stages of online transactions need proper flow of information. Procedure of online trading. Registration. Prior doing any online shopping, one has to register herself or himself with the online vendor. It means you have an account with the vendor. Only you can shop by logging into your account. All the sections related to your account, including your shopping cart, 
are password protected. Otherwise, anyone can log in into your account, which can be troublesome. Placing an order. You can add your required items in your shopping cart and then can place order for the same to purchase. Your shopping cart is your online record of what you have picked to purchase while exploring the online store. Once you decide what you have chosen to purchase, you can check out and then choose your payment option. Payment mechanism Payment for your online shopping can be made in a number of ways like cash on delivery, check, net banking transfer, payment via credit or debit card and digital cash. Security concerns in online transactions, e-business risks, safety of e-transactions. E-transactions are prone to a number of risks. These risks may involve financial, reputational and psychological losses to the parties involved in the e-transaction. It makes security and safety issues the chief concerns in e-business. Transaction risks. Online transactions are prone to several risks like seller denies the receipt of payment done using online mode by the buyer. The delivery of the products does not take place or seller does not get the payment for the products delivered and customer claims the payment was done. Data transmission and storage risks. Indeed, information is power. Data kept in the systems and its en route is exposed to several risks. Important information may be stolen and can be used for the fulfillment of selfish motives. There are various of stealing information stored in systems. Virus and hacking are two of them. Using these methods, data can be interrupted during transmission. This can be prevented with the use of cryptography. Risks of Threat to individual property and privacy. Internet is an entire open space. Data provided while making online transactions may be offered to other people who start dumping a range of promotional and advertising literature into your email box. Resources needed for successful e-business implementation. Establishing of e-business needs money, men and machines. You need additional resources for developing, functioning, sustaining and enhancing a website. A website is an organization's location worldwide web. Outsourcing Outsourcing is a new trend that is fundamentally changing business. It implies to long-term contracting out usually the non-core activities to third-party specialists with the aim of benefiting from their expertise and efficiency. Features of Outsourcing Outsourcing involves contracting. Outsourcing refers to source from third party what you have been otherwise doing in-house. For instance, innumerable companies have so far appointed their own cleanliness and sanitation staff for the purpose of maintaining cleanliness, hygiene, neatness and sanitation in their premises. But now, several organizations have started outsourcing these activities on contractual basis. Usually, non-core business activities are outsourced. Cleaning and sanitation are non-core business activities for most of the business and for municipalities and sanitation providers these are their core business activities. Depending on the business type, the core activities keep on changing and they outsource other activities. Processes may be outsourced to some other party. Ponder of a big multinational organization that is into several products and services in different places of the world. Several processes such as staffing, recruitment, payroll, training, record, management of payable and receivable accounts are common to all its branches, operating in different places of the world. These companies outsource all these processes to a business unit created specially for this purpose in order to avoid duplication of resources and cost reduction. 
Scope, Need and Benefits of Outsourcing Scope of Outsourcing Usually there are four major segments involved in outsourcing. Contract Research, Contract Manufacturing, Contract Sales and Informatics. In the present world, the term outsourcing has come to be more closely related to business process outsourcing or IT enabled services. Approximately 70% of the revenue of BPO comes from call centers, 20% from low and high value data work and 10% from higher value information work. Customer care makes the bulk of activities of call centers with 24-7 management of outbound and inbound traffic, need for outsourcing, international pressure for supreme quality products at lower costs, ever-demanding customers and ever-advancing technology are the three key drivers causing to rethink at the business processes of organizations. These factors may be regarded as accountable for the consistent rise of outsourcing as the mode of business. Benefits of Outsourcing Business organizations are now recognizing the significance of paying attention on just a few domains where they have distinguished capability and contracting out all the other functions to their outsourcing partners. One of the major benefits of outsourcing is reduction in costs. It takes place due to economies of large-scale accumulating to the outsourcing firms as they do this for innumerable other organizations as well. By outsourcing all the non-core business activities, companies are able to excel in their core business activities. Concerns over outsourcing Just like everything else, there are some concerns attached to the process of outsourcing. Some of the concerns are discussed below. Confidentiality The process of outsourcing involves sharing of a lot of crucial information of a business. If your outsourcing firm do not maintain the confidentiality and, for example, passes it to your competitors, it may cause the harm to your business. If the outsourcing involves complete products and processes, then your outsourcing partner may also start a similar business as yours. Sweat Shopping As the organizations that seek to outsource their processes to lower their costs, they attempt to take the optimum profit from the low-cost manpower of the host nations. Ethical Concerns Take an example of a shoe manufacturing company that, in order to lower down costs, outsources its manufacturing process to a developing nation where they employ women and child labor in the factories. Back home, organizations cannot do so because of strict laws against child labor. Resentment in the home countries While outsourcing marketing, manufacturing, IT-based services and research and development, what is eventually outsourced is employment or jobs. It may result in resentment back in the home country, especially if the country is facing issues of unemployment. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned in this module. The manner of doing business is called mode of business. Three strongest trends shaping the business. Digitization, outsourcing, and internationalization and globalization. E-business, conduct of trade, industry and commerce using the computer networks is called e-business. E-transactions can be classified into three categories, B2B, B2C and intra-B or an organization's internal processes. Benefits of e-business, ease of manufacturing and lower investment needs. Convenience, speed, global reach and movement towards a paperless society are some of the benefits of e-business. Limitations of e-business Less personal touch Incongruence between the placement of order and its fulfillment speed Need for technology competence and involvement of high risk factor Online transactions
There are three stages in online transactions. Pre-purchase, purchase or sale and delivery stage. Procedure of online transactions. Registration, placing of order and payment. E-business risks. Safety of e-transactions. Transaction risks, data transmission and storage risks and risks of threat to individual property and privacy. Outsourcing. It implies to long-term contracting out usually the non-core activities to third-party specialists with the aim of benefiting from their expertise, efficiency and even investment. Features of outsourcing. Outsourcing involves contracting. Usually non-core business activities are outsourced. Processes may be outsourced to some other party. Benefits of outsourcing. Organizations can focus on their core activities and reduction in costs. Cons